Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, like the title states, I'm talking about how I was able to dupe my favorite luxury foundation. I've talked about this foundation quite a few times over the past year, all of pretty much all of 2018, and this is from Shantakai. This is a nice luxury brand, and this is their Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. I have loved this foundation ever since I first went into that blue mercury and I had it applied on me. It's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation, and it's expensive. It's $80 for this, you know, one ounce, I believe it is. One ounce foundation. I've purchased this twice because I loved the foundation so much, and I just loved the way it was it worked for me it worked so well it was worth the price but i have recently found a product that actually acts the same way on my skin and is less than like one tenth of the price and it comes from wet and wild wet and wild recently released a whole new like line of products called the pump line and it's like workout related products and the product that i was able to dupe for the chantecai foundation is a BB cream from them and this is the Pump Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB cream. This retails for $8.99. Yep, you can use coupons on top of that and everything. And I, for the longest time, sus like suspected that because they kind of looked the same in the products and everything, that they were very similar. But it wasn't until I did a split side-by-side -side comparison that I realized how similar they were. So this video, I'm actually going to walk you through a split face application. I'm currently wearing the Chantecaille on one side of my face and the Wet n Wild on the other. Can you tell which one? So I'm going to walk you through the full face application along with a full day wear test to show you why I believe that this $8.99 Wet n Wild BB cream completely dupes this $80 Chantecaille foundation that I have come to love. So let me tell you a little bit about each of these foundations real quick. From the Shantakai website, this is currently, so right now it is $78 on the website, but when I went to the store to buy it, it was $80. They currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They currently have 14 shades, and I'm going to throw a picture up of the shade range right here. It does look like a decent range despite the fact that there's only 16 shades it's not like tart where they have 16 light shades and one deep shades it looks like they did do a decent job of trying to do an actual range and since it is kind of marketed as a really light coverage bb cream kind of product it's supposed to work more for different skin tones as opposed to like having a hard shade for each person because of course 16 shades isn't going to hit everybody but I honestly think they did a decent job with the shade range. From the website Shantakai says that this is an oil-free gel foundation with an ultra lightweight refreshing texture. The buildable formula provides adjustable coverage while light reflecting pigments eases the appearance of imperfections for a naturally flawless finish. I can say I 100% agree with this. This is one of the best foundations I've ever found. Even though I do have like some spots and I have some scarring and pigmentation, I have loved this foundation. I've gotten so many compliments on my skin with this. Like to put it in perspective, I have purchased this twice and it's an $80 foundation and I've panned the first one and I'm currently in the process of panning this one. Despite the fact that I love this foundation, it's expensive. So I've been on the hunt for a dupe for this and I have not been able to find one until now. This is the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Makeup Locker BB Cream. Unfortunately, they only have six shades, but it, it, it seems like they did try to put a nice range here. I'll throw the shade range up right here so you can take a look at it. They're not clearly biased towards one end of the spectrum towards another. That's what I mean by a good shade range. It's supposed to be a range. It's not supposed to be 60 shades of pale and then one dark shade. Even if you only have a few shades, it can show that you're actually trying if your shades are equally distributed among the complexion. So you've got like a light, a medium, or a light, light, medium, 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 dark, dark. So while I really hope Wet n Wild 
keeps this as a permanent product and expands their shade range. I do think that while they are marketing it as a sheer BB cream, they're hoping that these shades can fit the majority of people. Not only does this BB cream come with an ounce of the actual BB cream product, you're also getting a highlighter and a color corrector within the cap right here, which is more than I can say for the Chantecaille. I personally am not a fan of cream highlighter, so I really don't use the highlighter, but I've tried this color corrector for under my eyes, and I actually really, really like it. I think this might be a separate dupe for a color corrector from um, Benefit that I really like, but I do like that they give you kind of all of this here, and that's what they mean by three in one. You get the highlighter, you get the color corrector, and you get the BB cream. Again, to be very clear about the price difference here, the Chantecaille is $80 and the Wet n Wild currently retails for $8.99. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the application of both of these on my face. This bird, like, is the most annoying bird I've ever met. Like, it keeps hopping on to my AC unit in my window, and it just, like, walks around, walks around, and I have to walk up to the window, open up the curtain, and be like, excuse you. <laughs> it looked at me and then flew away. Like, it's it's being an annoying piece of shit and it knows it is <laughs> okay so we're gonna apply both of the foundations on side by side so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do the chantecaille on this side of my face my left your right i think this side of my face and i'm gonna do the wet and wild on this side of my face i've already primed i've been feeling really dry recently so i used the Too faced hangover rx primer just all over my face and that's it i can go ahead and like actually wear the chantecaille without mixing it with anything it's a good shade match for me once it's all blended in but the wet and wild is a bit dark so i'm gonna have to mix this one in with a white mixer just so that i don't have two very distinct shades on my face. I don't want to look like Too Faced today. I'd rather not look like a Batman villain. <laughs> Though I have a story time apparently. I was looking like the Joker the other day by accident. It was... Oh. I mean, it's a funny story now, but it wasn't funny then. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix the Wet n Wild in with my white mixer from LA Girl. I'm probably gonna mix too much. I'm used to mixing enough for a full face and not just half a face, so let's see how this mixes. Ooh, I actually did a good job of mixing that. It looks very close to the Chantecaille, so that's what we have for the Wet n Wild side. I will say there is a difference in the undertones of both of these products. The Chantecaille has a distinct warm undertone, which does match me a bit better, whereas the Wet n Wild, I do see it does have a bit of a cooler undertone, which does look a bit off only in comparison to the Chantecaille. If I wear it by itself, it looks fine. So the way I like to apply both of these is to actually apply it with just like a concealer brush from the actual container. So since I've already got the Wet n Wild on this one, we're going to go ahead and apply that one first. So I like to take this and just kind of dab it or brush it, just do some painting. And as you can see there, it does look a bit cool, right? But it's not that big of a difference. Like I said, I could actually wear the Wet n Wild shade on its own if I'm just wearing that and I'm not trying to do like a side by side. I'm gonna try to do half of my nose. We'll see how that goes. So after I apply it with that concealer brush, I like to take just a flat top Kabuki. This one's from Sigma. On the Chantecaille side, I'm gonna use a flat top from Wet n Wild just to keep them separate and <laughs> do my best. And then here is where I'll just kind of spread it out bring it down the neck airpod problems <laughs> and once it's pretty much all blended out with or applied with the kabuki i'll go in with a sponge so this is my one dollar sponge from shop miss a and I just kind of really push it into the skin. So now that it's kind of all blended in, I can take a look and see where do I want to add any more layers? What do I want to do? Usually I'll add a little bit more down here and onto my cheeks because this is a very like sheer product, but it has such a gorgeous finish and looks so great that I really don't mind. And I can build it up to like low medium coverage, like. So I'll just add a little bit more 
And whenever I go in with a second layer like this, I always use the sponge. I don't go in with the second layer with the brush. And that's one side fully applied. Again, this is the Wet n Wild BB Cream. So I'm just going to wipe off this concealer brush and then we'll go in with the Chantecaille. So going in with the Chantecaille, since I can just wear the shade, I'll just dig in to the actual container and just, same thing, apply it. So you can see the main undertone difference in the shade. Let's apply that here. There you go. So I'm gonna take a different flat top. Again, this is from Wet n Wild. <laughs> I should have used the Wet n Wild brush on the Wet n Wild side, huh? I don't think this early in the morning. So I'm gonna, same thing, blend this out. And I have, ooh, don't spill, Jesus. And I have another clean blender from AOA, Shot Miss Day's brand. And I'm going to do the same thing, blend it into the skin. Okay, so on this side, I do have some breakouts down here, and I am seeing the redness a little bit more. So that's where I'm going to add a little bit more for my second layer. So do some over here, and right over here, and then just bring it down the chin. Okay, so this is both sides applied, just the foundation. So let me zoom you in real quick. So I think you can really see this on the cheeks. It's just, they, they sit literally the same on my skin. And it's this gorgeous, really, really low medium, but glowy finish. I especially like the way that this sits on my forehead right here. I mean, based on like this alone, I would call the products, or I would call the Wet n Wild a dupe for this one, but I'm gonna go more in depth. I'm gonna finish my full face of makeup and then we're gonna do a full day wear test. So I'll be back with the rest of my makeup done. All right, guys, so it is 8.55, just before 9 a.m. and I just finished the rest of my makeup and my hair. I technically finished like the foundation portion closer to 8 o'clock, but I took a, a while to do my makeup today, so it's been a bit. I'm going to call the check-in time just 9 o'clock so that we can have a full day of wear out of this. And honestly, after the rest of my makeup is on, I can't tell the difference between the two sides. Let's do a close-up. So as a reminder, I have the Chantecaille on this side and the Wet n Wild on this side. To do a quick overview on what's on the rest of my face, I stuck with my Kylie concealer that I've been loving and panning, and I just kept that very, very low and tight to my eyes. I set that with the Too Faced Born This Way loose powder. I set the rest of my face with another powder that I am currently panning, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. And then to go in with bronzer and contour, I used both of the shades that I am panning from my Kat Von D palette. For highlight, I also used a shade that I'm panning from my Harry Potter Project Pan. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. It is the Wet n Wild highlighter shade in the shade White Raven. I'm wearing that. I'm also wearing um, on my lids today my Pan That palette, the Subculture palette. I just used the two neutral shades from the palette. And then I went on the lid with the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Golden Goddess. I'm also panning in my Harry Potter pen project pan and then on my lips I'm wearing the Fenty Lip Stunna in the shade Unbutton. I'm actually very happy with the way this turned out. I did do, I think I mentioned this in the intro, I did do a split face like this before and honestly after the rest of my makeup was on, couldn't tell the difference 
between the two shades and the fact that one is $80 and the other one is $8.99. That is nuts. So I am working from home today. I have to work a half day from home. I am taking half a personal day and then the rest of the day I have to run some errands. I gotta do my taxes. <laughs> fun and just kind of do stuff like that so I am going to do at least one check-in and then one finale towards the end of the night so I'll see you during my next check-in so it is just past 2 30 it's 2 37 right now and this is what we are looking like Honestly, the two sides look identical to me, which is nuts because this is the Ashantakai side, so $80 versus the Wet n Wild $8.99 side. I'm shocked that I really can't see a huge difference, <laughs> which is nuts. So this is the first check-in. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my day and then I'll come to check back in at the end of the night. So it is just past 7.15, so the foundations have both been on for just over 10 hours. I had a little bit of a pizza incident, <laughs> so lipstick is mostly gone and down here, so that's not the fault of the foundation. But as you can see, I can't really tell a difference from each side, which is nuts considering that this side cost as much as it did. Especially like the way that my forehead still looks. It still looks really good. Other than what came off when I was a ravenous animal and had my pizza. This looks incredible. And this is why I am not going to buy the Chantecaille foundation again and I'm going to stick to the wet and wild. This to me proves that it is indeed a dupe and a very good dupe at that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope if you liked it you give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what the most recent good dupe you found was. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.